what's happening in our reverse repos. So reverse repos were down from last week's $991 billion down to $785 billion. Um, what's really surprising is our 10 year treasury rate. It's at a low of 1.33%. And that is extremely low for a 10 year treasury rate. So the government right there, if we look at the treasury bonds, the one, two, three month, six month treasuries, treasury bonds are at 0.05% or five basis points. And the reverse repo is still at five basis points. So our government's not doing too well in the treasury department. Hmm. So aside from that, weekly report that you it's been getting worse in the reverse repos and the treasury bonds it's been getting worse um but we're going to go on to something going to be and stuff it is finra comments on short interest recession reporting is uh to enhance and so what's so finra is requesting comments on potential enhancement and number one, they're considering the modification to its short interest reporting requirements. Number two, a, a new rule to require that participants of a registered clearing agency report to FINRA information on allocations to correspondent firms of failed to deliver positions. So they're gonna have to report their failed to deliveries and it's not gonna be like, oh, we can hide them now. No, they're gonna have to be like, hey, we got them we can't hide them from you. We're just gonna say outright what we have. So this goes back to the uh, ability to change the uh, on the books from their short positions to long positions using complex option strategies, mm -hmm. such as what they've been using as of lately, sales of a call option and the purchase of a put option at the same price, at the same strike which are being used to hide uh, synthetic shares. And so this was filed on June 4th and the comment period ends August 4th, 2021. And hopefully that's gonna give more uh, stability into the stock market and give more of a level playing field. But it's a pretty exciting um, rule that's gonna be coming, coming to play. And once that's published, it's gonna be much better for the market because it's more visibility into the market. So, and, and it's just an overall other potential enhancements related to short sale activity. So before we were only able to see short sale activity month to month, hopefully we'll be able to see it daily now instead of everyone trying to scrape stuff from dark pools and, and things that are just very difficult to get your hands on. I like that. That's make life much easier. If you have much more granular data in short sales. Exactly. And instead of hoping you're correct every month, you check it. Exactly. Day. They're going to be like, well, what's been happening? And see, that's the thing. Even with these new rules that came out, like NSC 002, um, which is supposed to say, hey, we're, we're checking you or, or the DTC 005 saying, all right, well, you can't hide your short positions anymore and, and you're not gonna be able to get away with your uh, complex option strategies, you know, as it's supposed to, because clearly it's not working. And if we were to look at like, you know, one of our wonderful technical indicators of on balance volume, we can see that it's just, again, not working. It's still up there. There's no selling pressure and yet the stock's going down. So that's, it's hopefully- We definitely, we, part the of the market can't see that we probably should be able to, because if we can see the resulting price action of something that occurs, right? We can see the price is moving. If we can't understand or see the data that's making that occur, is the market truly as fair and as, as, as transparent as it should be? Because if there's you know a world of data that exists where big plays are being made and we can't actually gain access to them, how are we ever going to accurately understand why some movements occur? And if movements are occurring without us having the ability to understand or research them with any data that's available, then how is that a level playing field for the invest for retail investors? It doesn't just doesn't make any sense. There's a giant explosion exactly. over there. Why? No, but that's fair. Like that's 
that's not fair. If everybody else knows, we, we all should know too. 